De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. My heart bled upon seeing the way um, Oni of Ife was begging Queen Naomi and how confused he gets when, you know, Naomi says she's not staying again. I feel so bad. I am honestly tired of being a part of this movement. I am tired. Dr. Elizabeth is alleged to have cried out. They said for the last few days now, Oni of Ife has not been himself. They said he's been really devastated over the fact that things have, you know, snowballed into what it is right now. Well, Lord Oni Naomi insisting she is never, ever going to stay again, that nothing in this world, even if Oni of Ife buys the entire wall for her, she doesn't want, that she wants her peace, that uh, money cannot buy you peace, wealth, houses in the best places of um, in the world cannot buy you peace, that she needs her peace back. They said she um, took out time to tell Oni of Ife that she loves Oni of Ife. Oni of Ife is that first man that she loves. And she's still in love with Oni of Ife. She loves everything about Oni of Ife. But one thing that she cannot deal with is the situation um, with um, these women um, and the uh, drama of the palace right now, that she is exhausted. Like, she doesn't have any more strength again. That she is ready to sit and wait on the Lord that she is not going to do this again with the Oni of Ife. And now... Um, it is not okay um, with the Oni of Ife because unlike before, we are a lot of people, we are also on the side of Oni of Ife, helping Oni of Ife to try and convince Queen Naomi to come back. Right now, things are completely different. Uh, people have seen um, the trajectory of events and with what is going on right now, a lot of people are scared that, you know, Tadenika might be a target with the way these things are going. Sorry about the sound you're hearing i'm still outside like i'm outside most times i am out but um if i'm sitting um, in the car i'm able to do uh, my videos so um this is what is going on now as we are hearing that um dr elizabeth is crying that she she is exhausted that she feels so bad that why can't people let Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi stay together why is it so messed up why is everything the way it is that she she doesn't know what to do that she feels very bad seeing Oni of Ife you know look really confused tired and you know completely you know, um, um, worn out each time um, he, uh, he gets to go back to this drama with Olori Naomi. And at the same time, she, Dr. Elizabeth, is not blaming Naomi because she is a woman. She understands what Naomi must be going through, that she's not blaming Naomi, but that the reason why she is crying is that why is it that sometimes life will just present you with options that you do not want? Now, why can't people just let them be together? I guess that's a price you pay for being royalty, price you pay for, you know, serving people. People think they have a right to make decisions for you. People think that they have a right to, you know, be part of what you are. And that is what it is. Um, uh, these people have gone through a lot. I believe that... Um, KBS is also instrumental to what he is going through because no matter what, um, as a king, um, um, you can make that decision that I don't want to. I've seen a lot of Yoruba kings like that, like that uh, Sean of Ogumosho. Sean of Ogumosho may not be a big king like the Oni of Ife, but uh, of course he's, he's married to the love of his life and you know they are there together with all the pressures um, um to get married to so many women they have presented it, it to him um his king men, men said that uh, as a as a big king a uh, yoruba king he is entitled to so many wives is that entitlement attitude because when they come to you they do not say that you are um it's compulsory that you may, you may um you you must marry so many wives they tell you you are entitled to so many women then if you now feel you are actually entitled you go ahead because men love beautiful women you now want to use the opportunity to marry um, so many women and that's what happened to the pony of effect 
does only a FIFA love Queen Naomi? If you ask me, I would say yes. Yes, he does love Queen Naomi. And um, the kind of love that he feels for Queen Naomi is strong, but KBSC wants to be with Naomi and be with other women. That is what me, I will always say. Um, for some of us say he doesn't even love Queen Naomi, he doesn't care about Queen Naomi. It's not true, he does. He does. They say where your mind, your mind is. I mean, where your treasure is, there your mind is. And he has shown beyond reasonable doubt that you know his mind is where his treasure is, and that is in Olori Naomi. But the truth remains that Olori Naomi is not comfortable with the kind of life that the Oni of Ifair has chosen to live. You know, being a polygamist, and Nami has refused to be a polygamist. And we have seen um, um, in the course of this event that Nami has adjusted and adjusted and adjusted and things that she would not ordinarily want to take. She took everything, hook, lime, and sinker because she wanted to keep the marriage because she didn't want people to call her name, call her high-handed, call her proud, and all of them. She adjusted and at the end of the day, even with the adjustment, everything is still not going well. What do we expect her to do? And so Dr. Elizabeth is very uh, devastated as we are hearing as it is alleged. I have told you, I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife, neither am I related to the monarch. I am just a blogger. When I get an information, I reenact it and I post it, but it's also my duty to let you know that whatever you get on social media is, um, you need to take it with a pinch of salt. These are all alleged, these are rumored, these are speculated information, these are not first-hand information. Please write that at the back of your mind. So they say Dr. Elizabeth has been crying so much. She doesn't know what else to do. She doesn't like to see her husband uh, as miserable as he has been. He's been this week um, has been one of the most busy week for the owner of Ife. He's been, you know going back and forth, trying to achieve some of the things. You saw what happened that he's bringing um, um, a university a campus um, in Ilei Fair. They are doing a whole lot of stuff. They uh, are making a business couple in um, um, yeah, the Yoruba man, um, Oba, and a lot of things. He, he has achieved so much. He has worked so hard. But, you know, one thing that we do know is that no matter what you achieve in this war, um, uh, happiness is um, the best uh, reward. Like, um, 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 happiness is all that you need. And this is um, the, the issue that um, uh, 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 the only of affair, Dr. Elizabeth and all of them right there are not getting that happiness. And that is why you see that um, things are the way they are, okay? It's not a small something, though. They said that um, Dr. Elizabeth is confused. She's been crying. She's sad because Oni of Ife is very, very unhappy. He has been begging Pinami so much, and Pinami is saying no. Pinami is not doing it again. And everybody is saying it's like there is this um, drum beat now. Everybody is asking him to free Quinami so Quinami can go and start um, um, uh, her own life. The pressure on the Oni of Ife is very much right now as we are hearing. Um, it is not um, a win-win for the Oni of Ife. I, I just, I don't know, I feel like he has lost Quinami this time. He has. We, we must call a spade a spade. He has lost Queen Naomi. He's going to take the grace of God Almighty for Queen Naomi to go back to the Oni of Ife because I, I think um, um, he, he has succeeded in drawing the cotton with this um, 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 uh, thing with Ebony. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.